Hi guys, so today we've got the Biltac printing surface and we're just going to do a, a review on it just to see exactly how to fit it onto the print bed and things you should look out for. It comes with a little piece of paper just to explain a few things and how you should level it. So I'll be showing that in here. I've got three of them, the Biltac print bed. I've used these before and these are brilliant. They absolutely print so well. Uh, surfaces stick, I've never really had to put any kind of treatment on them, you just stick them in and that is it. So here are some things that you might need. A standing knife and some sort of measuring device, like a ruler or a measuring tape. So basically what can tend to happen is, is that these out of the box might not be the right size for your 3D printer. And as the case with the Flashforge Dreamer, they don't do a size exactly to the Flashforge Dreamer build plate. So what you need to do is, is you need to cut them down to size. Now with the Flashforge Dreamer, you need to cut it down to 135 millimeters that way and 168 millimeters that way. That's to ensure that you've got about a millimeter or two on either side uh, of the build plate just so that nothing goes wrong. So let's get cutting and I'll show you the difference between the two. So as you can see, it's just a, a tad bit shorter on the top and it's just a little bit shorter along that way. And let's get this fitted onto our Flashforge Dreamer. So the next step is to just get some isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth. And what you want to do is, is you want to just clean the print surface. Now as you can see I'm wearing some gloves. That's just so that this stuff is pretty harmful. So you do not want to get this stuff on your hands at all. So the next step is to get this onto the print bed. So the way to do that is you've got a white adhesive. Just want to carefully layer that on, like so. It's literally as simple as that. No additional work, no nothing. Now the next step is to just level this print bed. So it's just a little bit louder because I've got the printer on. So what you want to do is you just want to go to tools and then you just want to go to level. So once that's all done, if you still have it, there's a special sheet that comes with the Flash Forge Dreamer to level the bed. If not, a five by five inch uh, bit of paper will do. And what you want to do is, is you just want to put it underneath. You just want to feel just a tad bit of resistance on the sheet. So there you go. So that's now all done. We've now fitted the BuildTac printing surface onto the Flashforge Dreamer and it was very, very easy. It prints up to 125 degrees, so just make sure you don't make the print bed any hotter than 125 degrees. Um, but apart from that, it's that simple. Seeing as it's coming to Valentine's, we're going to print out a geared heart. This is a two to three rotation, and we're gonna be printing an ABS. Now the reason for printing an ABS is because ABS is known to have warping and always having a very good first few good layer adhesion to the print bed can stop this. So hopefully the BuildTac will prove to be a great printing surface. We'll come back in about three and a half hours to four hours and hopefully we will have some very good print. One thing to mention, when printing with ABS, just make sure you've got the door closed and the lid cover on and also preheat the print bed that extra little bit of time will give the printing surface, the BuildTac printing surface, just a bit more time to get to that temperature. The print's all done. 
We're just gonna let it cool down and then afterwards we'll be taking it out. So I've just taken the parts out of the printer and they've come out really nicely. Now it came out very, very easily. Literally, I just popped them off one by one. And with these little things, I just literally got my scraper and just popped them up and they were absolutely easy to take off. So now, let's build this part. I fitted it all together. It was a little bit challenging. <laughs> I had no idea exactly how to do it. As you can see, it's a perfect heart. And then, if you rotate it between two to three times, and there you go, and it's back to a heart. With ABS, you know, you get that warping and stuff like this. With the BuildTac uh, printing surface, I had no issues at all. Um, now I did put the print bed to about 110 degrees and the extruder to about 135 degrees, no glue, uh, no sort of adhesive on, on, on the print bed and it printed perfectly and it was really easy to take off. So after printing your parts what you want to do is, is you just want to get some isopropyl alcohol again and you just want to spray some just onto the sheet and then just rub the surface so that it's free from any contaminants and any sort of old parts that you may have had left stuck on the print bed. But after that, you should be all done. So now these are brilliant for 100 prints. Um, I've read on forums and stuff like that they've, that they've even gone over sort of the 150 mark. As long as you just don't scratch them or anything like this and you're just really careful after every print, Trust me, these things are a great investment. I absolutely love them. I will definitely be using them for every print I do from now on. My recommendation with this is just to grab yourself a sheet or two. These print perfectly with ABS and PLA and I'll definitely be testing them with some of the wooden material as well as the sort of semi-flex and ninja flex materials out there as well. But I can't imagine any issues with this printing surface. If you're going to grab yourself a sheet, just remember to go for the size that you need. If you can't find the size that you need, just go for the closest one you can find, then just cut it down to size. So this is my review for the BuildTac printing surface and I definitely recommend it.